Okay, my darlings, welcome back. I'm super excited for today. Um, I was out paying my rent the other day and um, I came across this lady who had the most gorgeous green eye look and I told her, it is beautiful. Um, you've inspired me, can I do this on my channel? And she was nice enough to let tell me yes. Um, so I'm going to be attempting to recreate the look that she had on. And it is so pretty, y'all. Like, I was a little nervous to get this out, but y'all, something colorful this way comes. I haven't used these palettes since I got married. And granted, that was not that long ago. Um, but I just like, I haven't had a reason to because they're just so pretty and so pigmented. But with that, we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. I'm not, we are also today going to be using our Kiss Ritzy Lashes. So, let's get started. And I did try and get myself a little bit more organized today. So I've got all of what I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need in front of me. So I hopefully shouldn't need to like be reaching over to get anything else. Now this is a very smoky eye look. It's a very dark look. Um, I'm not going to be able to recreate it exactly because I don't know what shades she used and I don't have any greens that are like that, that dark. Um, so spoiler, it is a green look. So we're going to go ahead and get our palettes out. I, I just love the packaging on these palettes. And just to kind of, uh, we're going to be using more of this end, probably this, this row, this row, and maybe a little bit of this row. And because she did have some definitive sparkle, whoo, almost knocked my water over. Look at all that glitter. We're also gonna be using some of these. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And we're going to start out with a lighter shade to use for the transition. Um, actually, no, the first, first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna kind of trace out where I want the black to go. Um, just so I kind of have an idea of where I want it to go. I'm just gonna use the mirror on the palette. Make sure you can see me. So that's kind of the shape we want the black to take. Thank you. 
Clean this up really quick so that I can kind of get an idea of where I'm at, where I'm going. And we're going to use a slightly larger scale trick.
we're gonna switch palettes really quick because I need some glitter in this. left eye is apparently being a pesky little devil and it, you can't tell on camera but this eye like this eye looks so nice and neat and crisp and clean and this eye is like mm, nope not today going to do is get the concealer off the back of my hand, well, line my eyes, and that should hopefully help things along. So we're going to go in and start with the pencil liner. Okay, I got to turn this way because my fan is on. a lower lash liner kind of look. So what I'm doing right now is trying to absorb some of my eye watering because my fan is on. And so it's wanting to like blow right in my eye. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to have to lean to my lower mirror for this because I'm going to do, um, Lex calls it a Lexorcist. I just call it, like, I roll my eye back so it doesn't irritate my contact as much. Oh, still irritates like a son of a gun though. And then we're going to try and like map out where I want my eyeliner to go. Small interconnecting lines. Next, liquid liner.
And I don't mind a thicker liner with this look because I feel like it needs it. And for my wing, I honestly just try and follow the black. I'm going it over going over it twice in this look because I want it really really dark. My pen is drying out because I've got a fan going. That one's a little darker, so this one needs more. A lighter. Seriously. I hate when my pen does that. Grab my spare. Any one of my spares. So apparently the spare that we're using for this is going to be the NYX one. Jesus, even that one's dried out. Come on, where is... What is going on with my life? <sighs> Mary Kay to the rescue. Maybe. Yes. Thank you. Now we can get some pigment on her. There we go. I have no clue what was going on there, but that was frustrating. Just to like make sure we're good and pigmented, we're gonna set that light real quick. Cause I don't want it going anywhere. Are these like magnetized or something? Y'all, I'm feeling this look. Like, I haven't worn green in probably since high school. But, like, I'm feeling this. So we're going to go with a whole bunch of highlighter. Cause... Yes. Okay. More on the side. Ooh. Look at that highlighter. Yes. I'm one of those people that I would highlight like all of me. Not gonna lie, on my wedding day, I literally did highlight all of me. I bought a loose highlighter and put it everywhere I could. I had it on my arms, I had it on my decolletage, I had it around my jewelry. Because I just wanted to glitter because I'm not a tanner, like at all. Like not even in a tanning bed can I tan. I have tried. It's not pretty. Go ahead, pop my brows on, make this look a little bit more like put together. 
I'm going with a bit of a bolder brow today because I feel like this look needs it. Fold, not drop on. There we go. Are y'all ready to play with some lashes? I do have to turn my fan off. My lashes though. Okay, I didn't turn it off. I just pointed it away from me. I feel like this look needs lashes. I haven't done lashes since my wedding, so this should be interesting. First, we're gonna go in with my lash squisher. I know this is facing the right direction. So because I'm about to put on falsies, I don't curl as close to my eye because I don't want to not be able to get the lashes on. I use white glue because it dries on clear and it's my preferred method because I feel like if you use a black glue um, I just don't like the way it looks with my eyeliner. And I do have pinchy boys for these pinchers. But I don't feel like the pinchers, I don't, I'm not good at using the pinchers. We will try them today, but I blow on mine to make it go a little faster. And then I go back in with my pinchers once they've dried. I'm going to let it go ahead and dry down the rest of the way while I put on the other one. That one's not going to work with the pinchy boys. Oh, geez, my fingers for this one. Maybe. Okay. Like I said, I'm not good at using the pinchers. I usually just use my nails. And I usually have acrylic, so it's usually easier than this. So as you can tell, this one's on a little wonky. We're gonna attempt to fit them all in my squishy. Kind of get them to agree with each other. I'm not even going to take this one off and put it back on yet. Well, yeah, I better. It doesn't look very good. I don't like doing that because usually every time you do that, yep, it takes off a little bit of your eye makeup, y'all. It doesn't help that I got a little bit of lash glue on the lashes themselves, like on the hairs.
There we go, that's better. Inside the pincher. I'm not trying to curl the false lashes. What I'm trying to do is get them to like blend with my lashes. Plus, it lifts them a little bit, which gives your eyes more of like an open look. Woo. Okay. And I don't think I need. More liner on top of the lashes. So the last thing we're gonna do is lips. This little mirror is becoming my new favorite friend. Okay, so because this eye look is so vivacious, we're gonna go ahead and go in with a like, what I'm hoping is gonna be a, like a neutral, neutral lip on me. And it's the Wet n Wild Mega Last Cat Liquid Cat Suit in eh, Rebel Rose, which is 924B. And that, you guys, is the look. Thank you so much to the beautiful lady at Winco that I met that let me um, steal her look for inspiration. This is what it is. I don't usually do, like, a whole bunch of glamour shots. I can't do a whole bunch of glamour shots, but, like, I'll post some pictures on my Instagram of it. So go ahead and pop over there to take a look at it. It's wonderful to see you guys. Uh, look forward to more content coming soon. I am recording today and tomorrow. Remember, my darlings, be kind to one another, be the change you want to see in the world, and a smile is infectious.